Have you heard the strange tales of the Whistler? I'm the Whistler. She wants me to leave, wants me out of the way. Sure, so she can have everything for herself. Well, I ain't gonna let her. I'll kill her first. Saturday night, and again, CBS presents The Whistler. I, The Whistler, know many things, for I walk by night. I know many strange tales, many secrets hidden in the hearts of men and women who stepped into the shadows. And so I tell you tonight the unusual story of justice. Elderly John Henderson, a well-to-do farmer in the Middle West, a widower with a son of 18, has recently married a young woman named Marta, a girl from the city. The coming of the war placed extra burdens upon Mr. Henderson, and in the past few months, the shortage of hands and overwork have been too much for his aging heart. It has been necessary for him to take to his bed and trust the actual running of the farm to his eccentric son, Matthew. Father, I want to talk to you. What's wrong now, Matt? i got to talk to you. Well, come in and talk. I'm not staying here any longer. I'm leaving. Now, oh, don't start that again. I ain't going to stay here and be bossed around by that woman. I ain't going to. Don't I have trouble enough without you squawking all the time? What is it now? I know more about this farm than she does. Who does she think she is? Marta is my wife, Matt. She's a good woman, and she's trying her best to be a mother to you. But you're too pig-headed to give her a chance. Mother? She's nothing but a nasty... Now, Matthew, that'll be enough out of you. She don't like me, and I don't like her. Shut up. I'll get out of this bed and wail the daylights out of you. Maybe she's got you, Buffalo, but I know she's here for no good. Did you hear me? Oh, she's making a fool out of you. Do this, do that, do this. I hate her. You better shut up, Matthew. Oh, she's a devil, a scheming devil. You lazy, good-for-nothing brat. Get out of here. I'm not lazy. She's been telling you that. She hasn't said a word that isn't the truth. She wants me to leave. Wants me out of the way. Sure, so she can have everything for herself. Well, I ain't gonna let her. I'll, I'll kill her first. You what? Uh... Nothing. Get out of this room, you little fool. Get out. Get out of this house. I won't. That's just what she wants. She wants me out, so you can leave everything to her. So you'll change your will. I'll change my will. What? I'll change it first thing in the morning. To think that I should have such an idiot for a son. What on earth is going on in here? Oh. What's all the shouting about? Oh. None of your business. Matt, what's oh. wrong with you? You ought to know. How do you feel, John? I was all right, Marta, till this crazy whippersnapper come in here. You better leave the room, Matt. You know better than to excite your father. You know he has high blood pressure. Yeah. I can't seem to remember that, but I notice you do. All right, I'll go. I wish I could understand that boy. He's certainly a problem. Oh, forget about it, John. He's very young. Oh, I can't understand why he dislikes you so much, Marta. He's determined that no one will take his mother's place. I've done everything to win him over. I I suppose it's because I'm so much younger than his mother would have been. If I could just gain his confidence. Yes, Marta, that's the problem. He's really a good boy, but he's made up his mind to dislike me. I know. He thinks I'm driving him. There's so many things to be done around here, and with a shortage of hands, it's almost impossible to carry on. Yes, I know. And I appreciate your interest, Marta. I know you're doing your best. I only wish I could get up from here and do something. Don't worry, darling. I... I got this letter this morning from Henry Jacobs. He was with me for ten years. He was wounded in action, and he'll be released from the hospital in San Francisco in a week. Says he's coming back here. Back here to work? I don't know. I hope so. We could certainly use him. Oh, John, that would be wonderful. He's been discharged, but I've no idea what condition he's in. But he's welcome any time. Whatever his condition, he can do something. You better try to rest yeah. now. Matthew has upset you terribly. Yeah. Two weeks pass, and all the while the enmity between Matt and Marta grows worse and worse. Then one morning, the long-awaited arrival of Henry Jacobs becomes a reality. 
Well, well, things don't look the same around here. What's happened, Matt? Things ain't the same around here, Henry. Say not. It looks kind of run down. Yeah? Well, that can be taken care of in short order. Can it? I don't know. What's wrong with you, sourpuss? Uh, you'll find out. You just wait. Well, let's get out of this jalopy. How many hands do you have now, Matt? Just me. Just you? Well, no wonder things are run down. What do you mean by that? Where's your pop? Upstairs in bed. He ain't well. Oh, hello, Matt. Well, you must be Henry Jacobs. Yeah, that's right. I'm certainly glad to see you. I'm glad to see you. Who are you? Well, she lives here. Matt. Lives here? Oh, that's nice. I'm Mrs. John Henderson. What? Mrs. Yes, that's right. You you mean your pop's married? Yeah, you? the old fool. Matt, please. Well, congratulations, Mrs. Henderson. Pop sure knows how to pick him. Well, she did the picking. Well, where is he? I'd like to have a talk with him. He's upstairs in bed. I'll go right up. Uh, by the way, uh, what's your first name, Miss Henderson? Why, Marta. Marta, huh? Well, I'll run up and see Pop. Yes, he's waiting for you. And lunch will be ready in just a few minutes. Well, I'll be ready, Marta. <laughs> Well, Henry, you're certainly a sight for sore eyes. I'm glad you're back safe, and I want you to know that I'm proud of you. Thanks. How do you feel? Uh, were you hurt bad? No, not too bad. I can still do things. I have to go back in a year or so if it's still gone on. In the meantime, I plan to stay here. Good. From the looks of things, you sure need someone. I certainly do. Oh, you met Marta, of course. Yeah, nice woman. What's wrong with Matthew? He don't seem to like her. I don't know, Henry. He's got some idea in his head that she doesn't like him. Well, Matt always was a peculiar kid. He's worse now than he was. Well, maybe he'll get over it. You you like Marta? You think she's a good woman? Why, of course. She's wonderful. How'd you finagle it? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> well, don't matter. She's a swell girl. Glad you like her, Henry. She's trying hard to run things, and with no one but Matt. Don't worry, Pop. I'll pitch in in the morning, and in a few days, no one will recognize the place. I'll see you later. And so Henry pitches in. And in three weeks, things are, as he predicted, unrecognizable. Everything has changed, taken on a new appearance. Henry has worked like a dog all day long, every day. At the edge of the field, by the stream, Henry pauses for lunch. A lunch brought to him every noon by Marta. More chicken, Henry? No, no, couldn't eat another bite, Marta. I fried it just for you. Yeah? And I couldn't. I'm full up to here. <laughs> You're a sissy. Well, maybe so, but I just can't eat anymore. <laughs> Um, when do you think you'll be going back? Back where? Why, back to the army. Oh, I don't know. I haven't the slightest idea if they'll want me. Really? Would you... Would you miss me? Why, yes, yes, of course. We miss you very much. You've meant a great deal to us. Who's us? John and me. Let me see. You know something? When I came here, I was counting the days until I could get back into action. But for some reason, I'd like to stay here a while longer. I wonder what that reason is. What do you think it is, Henry? Well, I have an idea. Yes? I think it's because of you, Marta. Me? But... Yeah, you. But that's ridiculous. Yeah, I know it is. But that's the way it is. Henry, look at me. Do you love me? Is that what you're trying to say? Well, I don't know just what I'm trying to say, but... Well, I'm just a little punch drunk. Why don't you tell me? But you're married, Marta. Married to John. You want to say it. Why don't you... All right. Yes, I do. I do love you. Henry. Now, I better get back to that tractor. I've got a lot of work to do. Henry. Kiss me. Huh? Now, you better get back to your tractor. Hello there, Miss Anderson. What? Matthew. How's everything? Why, what do you want? Nothing. Nothing at all. Just wondering how father'll take it when I tell him what I just saw. And what did you see? You and Henry kissing. I wonder how father's going to like that. He wouldn't like it, Matthew. It would upset him terribly. That's just what I figure. You wouldn't dare. Then why'd you do it? Because Henry's a good man. He's worked hard. There's no harm in kissing him. <laughs> well, maybe father'll see it differently. 
I think I'll tell them right now. Matthew, wait. Huh? Wait for what? I, I want to talk to you. All right, talk. You mustn't tell your father. He... Well, he wouldn't be able to... to... Uh, able to take the sharks, that is. Please, please don't say anything about it. Then you clear out of here by tomorrow, or I'll tell them. You're a devil. You made a fool out of father, now you're starting on Henry. You clear out of here, and I'll say nothing. Matthew, listen. No, no, you get out, or I'll spill the whole thing. <laughs> Well, Marta, now you are in a precarious situation. Matthew really has something to talk about now. And he means what he says. Better think fast, Marta. What are you going to do? Henry. Yeah, Marta? What are you doing here? I've got to talk to you. Sure, but what? What's upset you? It's Matthew. <laughs> What's he done? Henry, he, he saw us. Saw us? So what? He was standing in the bushes behind us. He saw us, and he heard every word we said. How do you know? The second you walked away, he stepped out. He saw you kiss me. Well, what about it? No harm in that, is there? Well, for some reason, he's never liked me, Henry. Now he's threatened me. Threatened you? Yes, he says he's going to tell his father all about it. Naturally, he'll exaggerate everything. Where's the threat come in? Well, he's going to tell John unless I leave here by tomorrow. Leave here? It's ridiculous. Why should you leave here? You belong here. You worked hard around this place. Why should you give it all up and walk out just because of what Matthew thinks? What he thinks doesn't make any difference. The trouble is what will happen when he tells father. Yeah, the meddlesome little yap. You know what will happen. John will be furious. He'll probably order us both out of the house. Think so? Well, of course he will. He'll believe everything Matthew tells him. He'll cut me off without a dollar. He'll, he'll get a divorce. Do you realize what this means? Yeah. It wouldn't be so good, would it? I have an interest in this place. I've worked hard, and I don't intend to give it up. Certainly not because of Matthew. He'd like nothing better than to have his father turn against me. Confound that good-for-nothing little troublemaker. Well, I don't want anything to happen to you because of me. Maybe I can explain to the old man. Just say Matthew was imagining things, that, that there was nothing to it. And do you think John would believe you? Do you? Probably not. It's a shame the old man has to have such a half-baked son. Yes, but there's nothing to be done about that. Well, in this condition, the old boy's liable to depart any day. He's pretty bad off. Yes. Yeah. As it stands, half the property will go to you and half to Matthew. That's right. But if Matthew stirs up trouble, you'll get nothing. Matthew will get it all. Yes. That wouldn't be fair, Henry. Wouldn't be right. What can be done about it? Well, I don't know right now, but something can be done. I'll tell you what. You have a talk with Matthew. Tell him he's mistaken. Try to talk him out of telling John. If that don't work, then tell him that... Well, tell him you'll do as he says, that you'll leave as soon as possible. I'll try, Henry. In the meantime, some way will turn up to work out of this. You understand? Yes, Henry. I understand. Here he comes now. I'll get out of the way and leave you alone with him. Oh, oh, hello oh, there. Matthew, have you said anything to your father yet? Father? What about? You know. About me and Henry. Oh, that. No, but I'm a gunner in a little bit. Please don't, Matt. Think it over. You misunderstood everything. It, it isn't the way you think. Oh, no. You can't pull any of your tricks on me. I'm not pulling any tricks, Matthew. You're mistaken about everything. Oh, please don't tell him. You've upset him enough. You're constantly at him about something. Am I? Yes. Anyone would think you had no regard whatever for his health that... But you didn't care whether he lived or not. That's so. And if you tell him this, it may kill him. Yeah? Well, I'm going to tell him just the same. All right, Matthew, you win. Huh. You don't need to tell him. I'll leave. When? Just as soon as possible. When is that? A couple of days. I just can't walk out in a few minutes. Okay. Okay, I'll give you three days. That's next Saturday night. <laughs> Afternoon, Miss Jenkins. How are you, Matthew? Well, yeah. what can I do for you today? Well, uh, let's see. I got a list of things here someplace. Oh, yeah, yeah, here it is. Um, I want some uh, spirits of camphor and some tincture arnica and some. Uh, here, uh, here, 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 just a minute. Give me that list and I'll get the articles. Oh. You have me making 20 trips all over this whole drugstore. Okay. Uh, camphor. Arnica. 
There we are. Quinine. Toothpaste. Hmm. And, and uh, your father's prescription refilled. Huh? Well, you'll have to wait a few minutes for that, Matthew. Oh, yeah, sure. And, uh, what's this? Arsenic. Uh, yeah. What's that for? Well, for, uh, for rats. Rat poison. Hmm. Well, I'll, I'll just give you a package of rat poison ready prepared. That's all right. Yes. There you are. Here. You'll have to sign this register for the rat poison. Huh? On this line. Uh, yeah, sure. There you are. I'll have the prescription ready for you in a couple of minutes. Just take it easy, Matthew. Yeah, sure. Oh, hello there. Oh, hello, Matthew. I was wondering if you were going to get back in time for dinner. You mean supper? Yes. Supper. Well, why shouldn't I be a comeback for supper? Well, I don't know. No reason. Where's Henry? Why, he's in the parlor reading. Yeah? What are you staring at? Huh? Nothing. I'm not staring. Did you get the things from the store? Yeah, they're, they're, they are back in the back porch. Dinner will be ready in a minute or so. As soon as I fix this tray for your father. Oh, take it up to him when it's ready. All right. In the meantime, I'll go in and have a talk with Henry about that tractor bell. Oh, got back, did you? Yeah, I went to a picture show. Full picture. That so? Yeah, uh, Sherlock Holmes. Oh? Murder story, I suppose. Yeah, 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 good show. I had it all figured out, though. Oh, is that so? Can't fool you, huh? No, I was way ahead of him. Here you are, Matthew. Better take it up to your father while it's hot. Sure. Ah, parsnips night, huh? Gee, I, I like parsnips. I'll be right down. <laughs> through the meal, Matthew and Henry and Marta say little, but each out of the corner of his eye constantly watches the others. Matthew is the most silent and refuses to engage in conversation. Now dinner is over, and as they rise from the table... It's John! Something's wrong! It's another attack! Hurry! John! John, what is it? What I... Uh, my medicine. I'll get it. Hurry, Marta. Here it is. John! John! Quick, Matthew, call the doctor. Hurry! Yes, Matthew, call the doctor. But it's too late for the doctor because John is gone. But the doctor comes, pronounces John dead, and leaves. And the next morning after the body is removed, two men drive up to the farm. Yes? Miss Anderson? Yes? My name is Houston. I'm the sheriff. Yes, Mr. Houston. May we come in? Of course. Oh, this is uh, Deputy Sheriff Baker. How do you do, Mr. Anderson? I'd like to talk to you regarding the circumstances of your husband's death. Circumstances? What, what, what do you mean? Your husband's doctor refused to sign a death certificate. Refused? Yes. Yeah. But why should he refuse? Why, Mr. Henderson has been ill for some time. Nevertheless, the doctor suggested that an autopsy be performed. An autopsy? Why an autopsy? Because your husband didn't die of a stroke. He didn't? No. Well, then what on earth? Well, it seems that... Oh. Come in, Henry. You too, Matthew. Why? What's wrong, Marta? Henry Jacobs? That's right. I'm Houston, the sheriff. Sheriff? And, uh... How are you, Matthew? Uh, I'm all right. All right, sit down, all of you. What are you doing here? We'll get to that in a minute, Matthew. The sheriff says that John didn't die of a stroke. What? That's right. The doctor suggested an autopsy. It was performed and a content of arsenic was found. Arsenic? Good Lord. John Henderson was poisoned. The doctor recognized the symptoms. He examined the food served John last night and became suspicious. He brought some of it with him. Arsenic was found in the parsnips. Parsnips? Did you prepare the food, Mrs. Henderson? Of course. Did you by any chance put anything in the food? Certainly not. Where would I get arsenic? Do you have any arsenic or rat poison on the place? No, not a bit. I'm out of it. I'm going to get some tomorrow. Hmm. You better check the premises thoroughly, Baker. Yes, sir. Did you uh, serve the food to your husband? Well, no. 
Matthew took it to his room. But I didn't put anything in it. Why should I? According to Dr. Stevens, you and your father have been quarreling a lot. Oh, but I, I didn't put anything in the food. I didn't, I didn't. And why did you buy a box of rat poison at the drugstore yesterday? A single little box of rat poison for a farm this size. Why? Well, I, I, I... Come on, why? Because she wanted it. She told me to get it. Well, you signed for it. She did it. She told me to get it. She's the one who did it. I... Matthew. She did it. I... I never said a word about rat poison. We always buy it by the pound. Oh, she's a lion. She wanted Father to die. She couldn't change his will, so he couldn't divorce it. All right. Where is the box of poison you bought, Matthew? I don't know. I gave it her. Come on, but... come on. Where is it? I never even saw it, Sheriff. He's lying. Matthew and his father been quarreling? Yes. I'm sorry, Matthew. You forced me to tell the truth. Oh, she's a devil. I knew she was here for no good. She did it. She's going to kill me, too. I know. I know uh, she's a devil. Stop yelling, will you? I'd like... Oh, Sheriff, I couldn't find a speck of arts arsenic on the place excepting this. Uh, rat poison. Where'd you yeah. find this box? In that room there. In the bureau drawer. Whose room is that? It's Matthew's room. I didn't put it there. She did. She put it there. You didn't know such a thing. Oh, you're all against me. You all want to get rid of me. I know. I know. All right, all right. Come on, Matthew. You're a bit too hot under the collar. We'll take you where you can cool off for a while. Yes, you were too hot under the collar. You walked right into it, Matthew. Everything points as evidence against you. You shouldn't have bought that little package of rat poison for so large a farm. You should have known better than that. But you did, and now you're trapped. Yes, the trial is over. Matthew has been convicted and sentenced to life. Several months have passed, and Marta and Henry are still running the farm. Marta has inherited all the property, even Matthew's share. And, too, Marta and Henry are now married. Enjoy your dinner, Henry? Hmm? Oh, yeah. Very good. You didn't eat very much of it? Well, just wasn't very hungry, Marta. Oh. Why not? I don't know. Just not hungry. What's on your mind, Henry? Nothing. Nothing in particular. Something's bothering you the last few days. Oh, I don't know. Just get to thinking about things. What things? Things in general. The farm and us and Matthew. Matthew? Yeah. Poor kid, I can't understand it. He was just all mixed up on everything. In the life of me, I can't figure out why he should want to kill his father. He probably doesn't know himself. What good did he think it'd do? His father died before the will had been changed, before he told him about you and me. What did he hope to gain? Oh, he was, well, psychopathic, I guess. Huh? Crazy? He must have been. How long would you account for it? Well, I hate to say it, but things turned out all right for you, regardless of how it came about. Yes, Henry. For you and me. I guess this is the way it was meant to be. Yes. Fate or providence or something. I'd like to leave here. Get away from it all. Sell the place? Why not? There are plenty of other places. Besides, farming's a tough thing these days. But somebody's got to run the farms. Yeah, but... Well, not under the conditions by which we happen to be running this one. I feel... Shamed. Kind of guilty. Guilty? Guilty of what? Oh, nothing exactly. Only I'd rather leave here. How about it? Well, I... I'd rather stay here for a while. Why? Well, I just would. You mind? Yes, I do mind. I don't want to stay around here any longer. Henry, what on earth is happening to you? Well, I just told you I'm leaving. Henry, I... I... What's the matter? I don't know. I've got the funniest feeling. Uh, I'm getting dizzy. I've felt this for several days now. Have you? Yes, I can't understand it. This time it seems worse. Does it? Yes. I... Oh. Oh. Pain. Pain in my heart. Henry. Pain? In your heart? Yes, it's. It's getting worse. In your heart, Marta? Are you sure it's in your heart? Yes, it must be. Oh. There's the scan. Henry, I think. I think you better call, call a doctor. Why? Why? Good heavens, Henry, what do you mean? I don't think it's your heart, Marta. You... What? No, I think it's your stomach. Henry! What do you mean? 
And I don't think a doctor can help you. Not now. Henry. Henry, what have you done? Henry. What do you think? You fool. You crazy fool. You've been putting something in my food. That's what the spells have been. Rat poison, Marta. Ever hear of it? Why, Henry? Why? I've been suspicious of you all along, Marta. I never believed Matthew was guilty. He didn't put that poison in his father's food. You did. And you told him to get it at the drugstore. Like a poor fool, he got it and signed for it. Henry, you don't know what you're saying. I have proof of it right here. Look, I got this note from Jenkins, the druggist. It's the order list you gave to Matthew. It's in your own handwriting. Look, you see that? It says arsenic for rats. Can you deny this? All right, all right, I did write it. I did tell him to get it. And you opened the package. Who put it in the food? Then placed the box in Matthew's room. You might as well tell the truth because you're dying, Marta. Yes, yes. But I, I did it for you. For us, Henry. For us? Yes. I'll confess. Oh, get the doctor. Please. Oh, no, you're not confessing to anybody. Matthew can stay right where he is. I'm your husband now, and everything will go to me. You filthy. I'll fix you. You won't get away with it. I'll call the police. Oh, no, not that. They'll get you. They'll know what you've done. No, they won't. My car's parked in town. I have an alibi. I'll just tip over this lamp and beat it back to town. No one will ever know what happened. You've got a, a big surprise coming, Henry. A big... Have I, Marta? <laughs> everything is yours now. Yes, everything. Marta thought she was clever. And you think you're much cleverer, Henry. But Marta said you had a big surprise coming. And you have. Yes. Get ready, Henry. Here it is. In the form of a letter in Marta's safe deposit box. In Marta's own words. For several days I've had a strange feeling. A presentiment. A premonition of doom. I can't explain it. But I feel that it can be traced to my husband, Henry Jacobs. If anything should happen to me, in case of my death, I wish to make this confession. Matthew Henderson did not poison his father. I did tell him to buy the rat poison. I did it purposely. I put it in the food, and I placed the open container in Matthew's room. This will vindicate Matthew, restore his freedom, and return to him all the property of his father, which is now held in my name, Marta Henderson. Well, Henry, that is the big surprise. And by reason of the tone of Marta's letter, you still have another one coming. Yes. That will be when they examine Marta's body and find the traces of arsenic. Too bad, Henry. Too bad. CBS has presented The Whistler. Original music for this production was composed and conducted by Wilbur Hatch. The Whistler is written and directed by J. Donald Wilson and originates from Columbia Square in Hollywood. Next week, same time. I, The Whistler, will return to tell you another unusual tale. Good night. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.